So welcome back. You're still here on Napalm, your new all Pinoy alternative music program with our featured artist of the week, um, Kalye143. Okay, so let me give everybody a glimpse or an introduction of what Kalye143 uh, Kalye is. So Kalye143 is an indie band from Portland, Oregon that has stepped into the Pinoy rock arena. The, me the members' diverse interests and genre preference amalgamated to produce their own unique sound. Formed in 2019, Kalye 143 plays the whole gamut from classic rock to 80s music, early alternative of the 1990s, and pop alternative of the 2000s and even reggae. All traced, all laced with OPM sensibilities. So Kalye 143 got its name from the street where the where they always congregate and play music, 143rd Avenue in Portland. So their first single, Para Lang Sayo, was released last April 10, 2020. So let me introduce to you the band members of Kalye 143. So for vocals, it's B-Boy Bautista. For guitars, it's Reggie De La Vega. For rhythm guitars, it's Marvin Rivera. For bass, it's RX Papagmahal Estrada. Yan. And for drums, it's Prince Mangundato. All right. Hello. Hello, guys. Hello, Hello. everybody. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Before tayo magkwentuhan, parinig muna natin kung ano yung music ng Kali 143. So, ito ang kanilang unang kanta. Um song entitled I Am Here by none other than Kali143. Yes, yes.
Okay. Okay. Let's bring in uh, Marvin. Hello. Yes, sir. Ah, yes. Kwento mo naman kami. Uh, what's the story behind the song "I Am Here"? Uh, I am here is about um, uh, two lovers, and uh, one is far away from uh, his lover, so. Um, parang he 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 wants to let her know that even though they are far away, I am here, you know. Mm. And at the same time, he's also he, he also wants to uh, let her know that he he wants to tell her that can you hear me that I, that I'm crying I'm I'm here I'm I'm longing for you that I. Mm -hmm. You know, I want you to be here with me right now. So, parang oh. ano, long distance, parang ganun. So, oh. actually, this is for my wife. Back, back, yeah, back, back when we were uh, in a long distance relationship. Uh, I mean, you meaning nandito na siya ngayon? Nandito na kasama mo na ngayon sa order? Nandito na siya ngayon, yeah. Pero, uh, oh, inspiration, okay. yung inspiration yun is uh, when we were still uh, far away from each other. Mm, okay. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so let, let me. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, Charlie, go. Well, let me call upon Prince on the screen as well. Because he's going to the question for us. Oh, yes. Okay, Prince. So, you know, we know that uh, Calle 140 is the name of your band from 143rd Avenue in Portland. Mm -hmm. So, but. What's so special about it? Because we here in the Philippines, of course, we don't know 143rd Avenue in Portland. So what's the significance of that place? Uh, ano kasi yun? Uh, yung street address ni Reggie, yung guitarista namin, mm -hmm. is uh, 143rd Street. So doon kami lagi nag-jamming, doon kami lagi uh, tumutugtog. So... Naisip na lang namin ng, ito na lang ng, ito, ito na lang yung ano, yung, oh, yeah. yung pangalan ng banda natin. Tapos pinalitan lang namin yung Juan into Juan para lang, oh, Pinoy. Uh, parang unique, unique ba yung ano? Oh. <laughs> One for all, all for all. Ah, hindi, hindi pa oh. <laughs> Alam nyo kasi lagi namin oh. pinocover yung kanta ng, kantang Juan, ng mm. Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos, okay, okay. Oh, so, Mukhang parang na, na ano na namin yun. O oh, sige, mm. one na lang. <laughs> oh. <laughs> parang every time na magja-jamming kami, every time na tutugtog kami sa mga private parties, mm. yun ang tutugtog namin yun, yung buwan. Kasi favorite oh. mga, mga, mga banda namin. <laughs> oh. Pero honestly, sawa-sawa na ako doon sa kantang yun. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, ako personally, yan, gusto ko yung 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 ano uh, pangalan, Kali 140 kasi kasi one is also ano eh, parang reference sa Pinoy, di ba? Kasi kung uh, American is Joe. Oh. So, Pinoy is one, di ba? So one for three, pero medyo clever ito. Oh, hindi na, sabi ko. Uh, mukha, so, mukha, mukha kami mga Mexicano kaya one. 
<laughs> Yun. <laughs> pero sir, Sigano. pero gusto ko lang idagdag yung ano, uh, yung 143 kasi ano din, I love you. Yo. Yeah. Diba? Para <laughs> ano talaga siya eh. Like, uh, bagay na bagay. Yeah. Talaga, may pag-ibig, tapos, yeah. Pilipinong-Pilipino. Oo. Oh, tama, tama. <laughs> sa pool. Sa pool lahat. Sa pool. <laughs> oh. Oh. So, uh, it's sa banda, what what influenced your music? Sino yung mga influence nyo? O sabi, sa playlist nyo sa phone, sino makikita ko dyan? Ako, yung usually influence ko, ano eh? Mga emo, punk, yun, gano'n. OPM, yung mga lumang OPM. Habangan nyo, may mga emo din kami. <laughs> Oo, oh, yung mga emo, yung mga yung, ano, yung talagang masakit sa damdamin. <laughs> Pero, um, yun talaga yung mga pinapakinggan ko, mga punk, mga emo, okay. mga alternative. Alternative, yun yung, ano ko, yung first, first genre ko na nagustuhan talaga, alternative. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, alternative meaning, ito ba yung mga, uh, ano ba tawag dito? Alternative na Nirvana ba yan? Or uh, ano, Vertical Horizon? Uh, oh, yun! Vertical Horizon! Oh, oh, Vertical Horizon, yung Matchbox oh. 20, yung oh. Creed, yung mga Creed. Yeah. Yung Creed, idol na idol ko yun. Pero, yun ko lang dito sa Amerika. Parang ayaw na ayaw nila sa Creed. Eh. Iwan ko. Pero, uh, ko, idol talaga yun. May kinalaman si Creed kasi nasa post-grunge eh. Parang, feeling nila ginagaya nila si Eddie Vedder na masado. Oo, oh, oh, yun. Parang ano, copycat. Oo, oh, 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 or Pearl Jam. Pero, I think, meron naman sila sa ring sound. Nagkapalang siguro, pareho silang baritone. Kaya, yeah. Oo. Oh, eh, marami naman talagang gumaya kay Eddie Vedder. Sobrang galing naman. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Pero, idol ko talaga yun. Idol ko yung Creed. Oh. Yeah. I watch Marvin. Influences. Influences uh, sa akin mostly Razorheads, uh, Shackle, Intro Voice, mga OPM na ano, way back after email, oh, mga ganun, yeah, 90s. Oh, oh, In, uh, usually yan ako eh, inspiration ko mga yan. Uh, eh, pero may mga ano din, um, siguro yung mga, yung mga ano, alternative na ano din, mga, mga tulad yan, yung uh, uh, ano ba tawag, ano ba pa? Ay, kakasabi mo lang, pre. Biglang nawala sa isip ko. Yung... Matchbox 20, pre. Hindi, yung kumata ng ano, uh, with arms wide open, yung mga oh, ganun. Uh, Ay, yung Creed, yung mga ganun. Oh, oh, uh, oh, oh. Sa'yo, mga ganun. Pero, OPM talaga. Ako, talaga, o- OPM rock back in the 90s era. Iyon yung mga, ano ko eh. Mga, oh. talagang, doon ako nagsimula. And then, uh, mm-hmm. siguro mga 2005 na era yung uh, Sugar Free, yan. Favorite game. Mm, yun, okay din. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, sure. oh, let's call it B-Boy. Yung si B-Boy. Yan. Hi, ayun. Oh. Yan, B-Boy. How about your influences? Ano may influence mo sa music? Uh, almost the same kami ni Prince eh, but ako mostly punk tsaka emo mm-hmm. tulad ng um, Simple Plan, Sum 41 um, mm-hmm. tapos uh, mga alternative bands tulad ng River Maya, yun nga, Razorheads tapos uh, meron din ako, yun, Creed tapos mm-hmm. Linkin Park um, yan, yun. Yun, yun yung mga ano, but mostly talaga <laughs> nag na nag na, na, ah, yeah, kami kasi yung yeah, simula mm-hmm. sila ayon na alam niyo Marvin <laughs> ayos <laughs> ayos sa kami kasi yeah tapos um iyon nga yung uh, emo and punk mas na doon ako mas na my chemical romance uh, my chemical Blink romance like what you do mhm yan yeah. tapos iyon nga so yeah doon ako na ano na influence mm. Sige. Let's hear more music from uh, Kali 143. Uh, their second song is entitled uh, Hindi Magbabago.
That was her second song uh, entitled Hindi Magbabago by uh, Kale143. Let's call in Marvin. Yes, sir. Present. 
Yes. <laughs> Yeah, ano point po dito sa hindi magbabago? Ang hindi magbabago is uh, it's about uh, loyalty. Na uh, hanggang wakas, hangga itaga mo sa bato, hindi magbabago yung pag-ibig ko sa iyo. Yeah. For my wife. Ah. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. If you see me, most of the songs, ikaw ang nagsusulat nito, Marvin. Tama ba? Yes, most of the songs. Yes. Mm. Mm. Pero meron kaming lalabas na ano din, sir, yung uh, kay uh, Kuya Reggie na ano. Mm. Abangan nyo. Meron dalawa. Okay, Abangan okay. Ayaw ko. Yeah. Ayos yan. <laughs> Napansin ko yung tinutugtugan nyo. Parang, ano ba yan? Parang basement ba siya? Or uh, uh, ano? Oh. Yung, yung, oh. Doon kayo nag-aaginig ko practice. Ano ba? Yes. Doon sa Kali 143 mismo. Sa, yun yun. Uh, sa garage ni, ano yun, ni parang Reggie. Yeah, mm-hmm. sa garage. Mm-hmm. Buti may, medyo maitindihin yung kapitbahay. Uh, yeah, they're, they're really cool. Uh, mm-hmm. ano, actually, ano eh, uh, kapag nagpa, nagtutugtug nga kami doon, mas gusto nga nila eh. <laughs> Talaga? Ayaw, yeah, ayaw. They're, they're that cool. <laughs> they're, they're, they're awesome. Yeah. Okay, so with your music, how do you, would you classify your music in, in terms of genre or baka hindi lang isang genre? Paano nyo i-classify music nyo? Uh, yung mga na-compose ko kasi iba-iba siya eh. Iba-ibang mm-hmm. genre eh. Ma- marami akong influences na ano eh. Um, minsan na uh, OPM na ano, rock tapos minsan a love song uh, mm-hmm. tapos... Uh, meron din heavy uh, medyo mm. heavy metal na ano meron din medyo punk uh, meron mm. meron din parang emo so tapos uh, me- actually meron ding ano uh, uh, reggae reggae so, no yeah I, I I don't know kung ano kaya nga hindi namin alam kung paano namin <laughs> i-classify yung ano namin yung banda uh, namin. Uh, <laughs> dito nga sa second song ninyo uh, sa second song ninyo may yung intro sa uh, sa meron sa mga guitar parts na it reminds me of uh, the cure oh wow the cure oh, yeah. parang nag-start siya then may rhythm tapos habang may nag-rhythm may gumagawa ng parang hindi naman siya lead parang semi riff na hab- na dominant na habang tumutugtog yung rhythm so yun oh uh, salamat <laughs> thank you thank you okay so, so, yes just sorry so, uh, I think we we will have to pause for a short break, parts. Mm. No, stay tuned okay. here on Napalm, your all alternative music program. <laughs> 